So guys, I'm finally back on this Husqvarna 272 XP. It's been sitting a while, but today in the mail, I got my top end rebuild kit. It's supposed to be the piston, cylinder, and some gaskets and a bearing. I didn't have the money to buy an actual Husky one, but I didn't want to buy a really cheap one. I have no clue about this company. This was made in uh, Sweden. Or not Sweden, Switzerland, I think. I don't recall. So I'm going to open this up and have a look at it. Like everything else, I gotta do everything on a budget. Piston ring. Bad dog. Bad dog. The retaining clip to hook it to the uh, rod. That's the little rod pin. Ooh, snazzy. Piston. Hold on there, boy. Not really helping if you're not helping. Yeah. So looks fairly nice. Oh don't. So that's the kit. Not much to it. I, oh, that's not the kit. Then in this little package. Came the bearing. Gasket. Kaki. And another Kaki. gasket. Kaki. Kaki. Yeah. I got Kaki. my helper Wombly Kaki. here with me. Are Kaki. you helping? So. Aye. What I'm going to start with, I'm going to try to show you the project, mm. is a couple things. Let's see if I can't get that off there. Are you showing them, Wombly? So, um. Pretty dirty, so I'm just gonna try to do a kind of a general clean, get everything clean before I start kind of the rebuild. I also I've got let's try to show it here. I'm gonna turn this camera around. So my air filter where that clamp goes is pretty torn up. And these are hard to find. This one's a Husqvarna. These are hard to find. The filter itself does not look bad. It's just torn to bits. Maybe. So I don't know that this is going to work. But I bought this. It says it's for rubber. Um, metal, glass, rubber. So we're going to try to glue this. Just enough to get some life out of it. So I bought that. And then on the old eBay... Bought myself a new on-off switch. I'll show you my switch. <laughs> this part's broken off. It's really kind of sometimes a challenge, if, especially if you got gloves, to turn it on and off. So, got a new switch for that. We'll swap that out after giving this thing a clean. Um, oh boy, we don't play with these. No, we don't play with that. Uh-uh. So, you can see kind of the general state of how dirty it is. So we're going to start with the cleaning. Alright, let's do some cleaning, boy. Probably no real good way to do this. Yes, I know. No, that don't go in there. Alright, I think I'm going to get some cleaner and a scraper. So 
So there's probably more work I'm going to do to this saw in the future. Uh, I'm not trying to get overly in-depth with it at this point. Because I'm trying to get ready to fall some trees. But I definitely want to put a little bit of TLC into it at this point. And boy. I don't think it's seen a cleaning in a while. Basically, I'm going to just keep scraping at it, using brushes, got myself some carb cleaner, some shop towels, and I'm just going to continue for now and check in with you when I get it a bit clean. And kind of further along in the process. I decided to take the carb out. Hey. Um, I'm gonna give it a clean. I'm gonna clean around it. It was just completely and utterly packed solid with junk. Yes, Wombly. We got no. Nope, we got enough sprays. And literally, I'm just picking away. At some of the crap to get it out of there I should probably take more apart I just don't feel like going any more in depth on this saw than what I already am so I just continue picking away at it all right so I've got the carb out just been cleaning the carb it was pretty dirty this is that rubber part that hooks up to the carb and then that goes out towards the outside of the chainsaw you know where you can tune it this is pretty chewed up, so I'm going to get on the old interweb and see if this is readily available. If it's not, I might be forced to just sort of clean this up and use it, but if I can get another one of these, I will. And still cleaning on it. It's a lot cleaner, but got a ways to go. And that's it for now. All right, I somewhat glued this. I'm gonna let it sit. This is the stuff I used, Fiber Fix Extreme. It is an extreme job, so hey, we'll try it. So we'll see. Let's let it sit, and we'll we'll see how it works. Yeah. All right, guys. This is how far I am <laughs> on this uh, two seven two XP Husky. Basically. I've got it stripped down as much as I'm going to strip it down. I took all this starter, uh, stator stuff out. Uh, it's just literally packed with crap. So I took it out just basically for cleaning. And I cleaned out my oil tank. There's a screw that goes there that appears to be missing. I'm not even sure what goes there. I just know it leaks oil. So I'm just going to find a screw that fits in there. But, yeah, she's shiny. So, that is as clean as it's going to get. This screw part that goes in here, the uh, chain tensioner, is bent. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can't straighten it a little bit and use it, because I'm sick of buying parts. Especially for something, you know, an old saw like this, but yeah, that's it. Nice and shiny. Wait, 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 wait. So now Can we'll start putting it back together. By the way, guys, um, this air filter here, I used that flex glue on it. Yeah. So far, anyway, worked like a charm. I think the only reason this failed is whoever put that clamp on there tighten the crap out of it and literally just squished and tore that rubber you really don't have to tighten them that much it ain't gonna it ain't gonna go nowhere there's nowhere for it to go so save myself 
probably nearly 50 bucks. <coughs> so, next we'll start the reconstruction of the saw. This is as far as I'm going to get today. 